All right, welcome to the Freeing ERP webcast. What we're going to do today is talk about DynaChange business rules and specifically a new feature of DynaChange business rules called the pre-sql hook. Now what a pre-sql hook does is allows you to get into the code during SQL execution and replace it with some of your own. It fires before the SQL executes, so that gives you an opportunity to modify the statement as your business needs determined. Now, in my opinion, this is best used only to change the WHERE clause or the ORDER BY clause in a SQL statement because anything else you do could have a lot of unintended consequences. So you have to be really careful with this. There's a lot of power, but at the same time, there's a lot of room for error. The main rule of thumb with any development is always test and play, test and play, test and play. Let's go ahead and jump right into an example. For this example, we're going to restrict the number of options available to the user when they do a put away exception in Wireless Warehouse. Now the first thing we want to do to start this process is get a trace running on the database. So we already have SQL Server Profiler set up and ready to go. We're just going to go ahead and start the trace up. There it is. It's running now. And we'll go back over to Wireless Warehouse, Inventory Operations, System Directed Item Put Away. Go ahead and bring everything up and get our bin ID in there. So let's just do like A100. Oh, no items in that bin, so we need to pick another bin. Let's try 101. There we go. There is an item in that bin. And we're going to get our quantity to move in there. Okay, now it's given us a suggested bin, and we want to go ahead and create the exception on that. So we're going to press F5. And there's our three reasons. This is the list that we're looking to affect. So once we have this list, we can go back to the profiler and we can go ahead and pause it because everything we need is now in the profiler. What we're looking for in the profiler right now is the list. So the first one I see down at the bottom is the DSRF put away exception codes. So I'm going to click on that and take a look at it. That definitely looks like the right statement. And what we're really looking for is the name of that statement because that's how we're going to set up the pre-sql hook. So just to check it, what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy this entire statement. And I'm going to go ahead and put it over into SQL Studio and just go ahead and execute it. And you see what we get are our code numbers with the code descriptions and their group number. Now that we know this is the statement we want to use, we need to try to figure out how we want to modify it to make it work. So I'm just going to bring these down here to make it a little bit easier to tell what's going on. All right, let's just bring this WHERE clause down. That's where we want to do most of our work. So if we want to restrict this, the easiest way to do that would just be to put another condition on the WHERE clause. And we'll go ahead and do that, restricting the code number to 1548, which will give us only the one we want. Let's test it to make sure it does what we want. It does. So this is what we're going to go with. Okay, now that we know we have what we need, let's go ahead and switch over to Visual Studio. I already have the rules set up here so we don't have to spend a lot of time coding. But you can see what I'm doing here. I'm retrieving the value of the SQL statement, looking for where the end of the statement starts basically by getting its index number. That's what's going on right here. Once I find that index number, I calculate the end position, which is six characters away. And that's what I'm doing here. And then at the end of that position, I'm going to go ahead and insert the code that we came up with to restrict that list. And once that's done, the last thing that I need to do is push the modified SQL statement back to Profit 21. So with all of that finished, let's go ahead and build our project. And now it's built. And I'm going to go ahead and copy it over into my DynaChange rules folder, and then we'll open up P21. Okay, now our rule's been copied. We're in Profit 21's desktop. And we're going to go ahead and open up the DynaChange Rules Organizer. And we're going to create a new pre-SQL rule. And remember I said what we really needed was that statement name, that DS name. Well, this is where we're going to use it. So we're going to put that name right in here. And then we're going to go ahead and assign our rule to it. It always stays as a synchronous run type. And we're ready to go and try it out. So let's go ahead and close the desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and open another wireless session up. Inventory operations, back to system directed item put away. Let's try A002. 
Looks like we have some items there. So let's just find one of those, bring it in. And we're in our bin ID. We're going to go ahead and create our exception again. And as you can see, we have gotten rid of the other two choices, and all we have left is bin is unsuitable. So that's it. That's how you do a pre-SQL hook. It's uh, not too hard, but at the same time, it can give you some really crazy results if you don't do it right. So test and play. Your mileage may vary, and uh, have fun with it.